Hello, I'm Shadow, and I make video games. Specifically, so far, I have solely made Game Jam games, and whilst I do plan for that to change in the hopefully not-too-distant future, right now my list of published games consists solely of games made for the GMTK Game Jam. And with GMTK 2022 coming up this week and my plans to participate, I thought it was the optimal time to look back and reflect upon my previous Jam games, both in good and bad ways. Before I start, I will quickly explain what a game jam is, although chances are you probably know what they are, so if you just want to get to the video, skip for this amount of time to when the post-mortem analysis begins. Alright, game jams are events where game developers are challenged to create a game within a limited amount of time. A game jam usually having a theme of which the games are supposed to be framed around. There can be other rules, prizes or no prizes, unique limitations, etc. But those are the general framework which 99% of game jams fit in. Let's start at the beginning with the first ever jam I took part in, the Game Maker's Toolkit or GMTK 2019 Game Jam. Taking place in early August, the jam was only two days and ran with the theme of only one. Now, I was a very young and effectively a baby dev, and also a bit dumber than the level of dumbness I sit at now. So I didn't read that certain universal code, like for example controller support, was fine. And this led to Lightway. Uh. This was... Uh, yikes. I think the fact that the thumbnail for the game looks like this says everything. And my god, this game is trash. The gameplay is basically just a walking simulator, but the only thing to break that up is to avoid a very not difficult enemy and maybe pick up the collectibles if you want. The graphics look like dragon vomit, and oh god, the attempt at music in this game genuinely hurt my ears listening to it now. And in terms of the game sticking to the jam theme of only one, replaying it, I didn't really feel the theme in the actual game. If you asked me to tell you what the theme of the jam was from this game alone, I literally would not be able to tell you. In fact, I had to look it up. I do not remember much about the making of this game. It was so long ago that basically all memories of making this thing have been Control-Alt-Deleted. But looking at the final product, I only don't view it as 100% trash because it actually runs. I can definitely say I believe I've greatly improved from this in graphics, in gameplay, in story, in sticking to the jam theme, and especially in audio. Especially audio. Alright, moving on. My next Game Jam game was for the 2020 GMTK Game Jam, taking place again in 48 hours and with the same rules. Even though a certain big event was going on at the time, it really hadn't impacted me or my schedule all that much anyways, as I never leave my house if I can help it. The theme for GMTK 2020 was Out of Control, and the game I made was titled Discombobulated Gravity. Yeah, in hindsight, not exactly an easy to say name. Of all the names I could have chosen. This was an improvement in a lot of ways, yet still similar in too many aspects. Whilst the art was majorly improved and the sound effects were decent, the music was still pretty poor, although significantly less ear destroying, and the game still didn't scale properly to monitors because I hadn't yet realized I could reuse backend code. The part of this game I'm the most proud of was that I feel like the theme of the jam, Out of Control, is properly implemented into the gameplay and easy to tell just by playing the game. Unlike last time, I'd gone for a side-scroller and puzzle game this time around, mostly because I'd been on a portal binge at the time, and the game is focused around solving puzzles whilst gravity randomly shifts out of your control. Are there problems with the gameplay? Yes. Yes, there are. There can be loads of waiting that can easily get frustrating just waiting for gravity to finally work with you so you can reach the exit door you opened nearly five minutes ago. Another difference between this game and the last one is that going into this jam, I didn't just jump right into making it. I actually took the time to think about what I was going to make. Granted, I don't feel like I put enough time into the planning, but this feels like a definite improvement over my last game jam game, but it still feels like a weak game overall. Moving on from that, we finally reached my latest Game Jam game, made for GMTK 2021, and again within 48 hours under the theme of Join Together. And the game I made for this was titled On The Clock. And finally, I realized I could use backend code, which means this game actually properly scales to displays. Yay! And of course it's locked to 30 FPS because my brain just blinked on that part until after the jam was over. 
and trying to fix that was not easy because the physics were all tied to the frame rate. Changing it to 60 broke the entire game. The graphics are rushed, better than the previous two, but nowhere near what I feel like I could have done, especially with the tools and skills I have now. There is no sound or music, because I ultimately deemed that unimportant and just tossed it to the end of the to-do list. And by the time I got to it, I was so dead tired having been up way longer than any sane person should, I just went screw it and submitted the game as is. Then I passed out. That's not to say I think this is a step down from the previous game. Whilst the graphics aren't that good, they're still better, and at least there's no terrible music this go around. Granted, there isn't any music at all. The gameplay, being yet another puzzle platformer, is pretty simplistic yet functional. I said functional! I don't feel like this one stuck to the jam theme as heavily as the previous one. The jam theme was present in the story and a bit in the gameplay here or there, but it feels more tacked on and less thought through. Albeit, this game had more thought put into it before jumping in than both of my previous Game Jam games, combined. The game could have been better, and I feel like if I remade it now in the same amount of time, it probably would be. But I am not going to be remaking any of these games. For a few months, I went back and forth on remaking on the clock to bring it up to what I wanted. After the 2021 Game Jam, I switched from doing art in the engine, Game Maker Studio 1.4, to doing it in a sprite. And switching to Ace Sprite was probably the best decision I ever made, followed up by switching from Game Maker Studio 1.4 to Game Maker Studio 2. Gods, I love them so much. But the reason I don't want to remake them is honestly mostly because, well, I want them to stand testament to who I was in the past as a developer. Both the good and the bad, however bad it may be. It's not because I lack the motivation to remake them, I just don't see the point. These games were meant to be made within those tiny time frames of 48 hours. Remaking them in much more time long past those jams feels like just trying to cover it up. I'd rather these old and frankly pretty bad games continue existing as is, so that when GMTK 2022 rolls around and passes by, I can compare whatever game I make for that jam to these old entries and hopefully, maybe, feel a bit proud that I've actually moved forward as a developer. Alright, that marks the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll probably see you all again once GMTK 2022 rolls around. I have a Discord server now for my game, so if you want to chat about these jam games, or get updates on my jam game this year whilst GMTK 2022 is going on, or even potentially get an early sneak peek at non-game jam related games I have in store, click on the server invite below. This is Shadow, and I'll see you next time.